Hello and welcome back to the channel for another video. This one today is going to be all about how to master the multiplication questions on the arithmetic paper. And I mean the long multiplication questions, those tricky two mark questions. Um, so we're going to go through it today and hopefully help you to score well on these questions. So first of all, again, back to this table, um, multiplication questions falls into the calculations category. And you can see on the 2023 paper, 32 marks went towards calculations questions that would involve addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So there is uh, going to be a couple of questions on multiplication, uh, long multiplication specifically. Right. So the questions look like this. And um, this one was taken from the 2023 paper, I believe. So last year's paper. And I'm going to uh, show you how to solve it. The tricky thing is with these questions, uh, there's quite a few things to remember, a few steps involved, and you can easily make a, a careless mistake as you're going along. And that's why it's worth two marks and why it says here, show your method, because even if you get the answer incorrect, if you've shown your method, but you make a slight calculation error, they can still award you one mark. Okay, so starting off then, we multiply the ones first. So we've got seven times three, that's 21. So we're gonna put one down, I'm going to carry the two. Zero times three, anything times zero is always zero, but don't forget you've got your two there. So that's going to become two. And then we've got um, to multiply the six by the three. So six threes are 18. So we'll put the one and the eight there. So we've multiplied the ones, that's all done. Now we're going to move on to multiplying by the tens. This next step is something that children often forget and you need to remember to do, and that is to put zero down as your placeholder. So when we're multiplying by the tens, we do zero in the ones column. Seven eights are 56. So we're going to put the six down. We're going to carry the five. Zero times eight is obviously zero, but we've got the five there to add. So we'll add the five on that we've carried. And then six eights are 48. So we write both of those down. So now we've multiplied both the ones and the tens. The next step is to add those two parts together. So we're going to add downwards. One add zero is one. Two and six is eight. Eight and five make 13. So we're going to put three down. I'm going to carry the one over. One and eight is nine plus that one is 10. So we're going to put zero there and carry the one. And then we've got four and that one there that we've carried to make five, giving us a final answer of 503, sorry, 50,381. And don't forget to write your answer in the box provided. So that's um, one long multiplication question from last year's paper. Let's have a look at another one, slightly trickier this time because we've got a four digit number multiplied by a two digit number. So once again, multiplying, starting with the ones, eight times seven, 56, six down, carry the five. Seven sevens are 49, plus five is 54. So we're gonna put the four down. I'm gonna carry the five again. Then we've got zero times six, sorry, zero times seven, which is obviously zero, but we've got that five that we've just carried to put the five there. And then we've got four sevens are 28. So we're going to write both the two and the eight. So that then leaves the tens. Now, if you remember from the last uh, question, what do we need to remember here? We need to remember to have zero as our placeholder. And then we're going to multiply the 10. So six eights of 48, eight times six, 48. So eight down, carry the four. And then we've got seven times six, which is 42. Okay, but then we've got to add that four there, which is going to be 42 plus four is 46. So six down, carry the four again. Then we've got zero times six. Okay, zero times six is zero, but then we've got that four that we've just carried. And then finally, we've got four times six, which is 24. So we're gonna write both of those down. So you can already see the numbers are a bit bigger here. And now we need to do the, the final step, which is add these two together, adding downwards. Six as zero is six. Four and eight is 12. Two down, carry the one. Five and six is 11, plus that one we've carried is 12. So two down, carry the one. 
8 and 4 make 12, plus that one there is 13, so 3 down, carry the 1. 2 and 4 make 6, plus 1 is 7. And then 0 and 2 is going to be 2. Giving us a final answer of 273,226. And once again, we'll make sure we write our answer in the box provided. Okay, so a couple of things then to remember when doing this. Don't forget you start by multiplying the ones. Then when you're multiplying the tens, don't forget to put your zero down as your placeholder. Make sure that when you've got a two digit number that you're carrying all the time. And then the final step is to add these two together, adding downwards again, carrying as you go. So yes, there are a few places where you can make errors, but these are questions that you probably want to go back and double check if you have any time left at the end of your test. So here are some practice questions that um, use long multiplication. You can have a go at these now. Just pause the video here to have a go at these 10 questions. And there are your answers for those 10 questions. How did you get on? So thanks for watching, guys. Um, as always, please subscribe to the channel. We're going to have more videos coming up to help you prepare for your SATs tests and any videos, more videos on primary education. Um, please see this video here for a full walkthrough of the arithmetic paper. Please see this video here for a breakdown of all the different questions in the arithmetic paper. And see this video here on a breakdown of all the different questions in the grammar paper. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.